Hi, welcome back to Recovery Rocks. I'm Jim LaPierre. I'm going to talk to you today about a question that folks often wrestle with, which is, is drinking becoming a problem for me or am I an alcoholic? Now, there's a lot of different ways to approach this question. Uh, beautiful thing about the internet, most of the information we're looking for is right there at our fingertips. Sometimes I'll encourage folks to go online and search for uh, screening tests uh, that help us kind of narrow down, is this becoming a problem for us? So if you go onto Google or any search engine and put in MAST, which is the Michigan Assessment Screening Tool, or the Socrates is another uh, very simple, straightforward questionnaire about your use of alcohol. That will give you an objective uh, bit of feedback very quickly uh, for free. And these are uh, time-tested, researched approaches that uh, tend to be extremely accurate. I can also give you my personal experience as a clinician, which is that typically by the time someone is asking that question, uh, yes, it's already become a problem. And my response to people who are really hung up on this question or asking themselves uh, or asking me is I'll immediately say, well, okay, how many times have you asked yourself this? How many times has it come up? How, how long have you been agonizing over this? Uh, the next piece that I'll offer them is an adage that was passed on by my friends in AA, and they like to point out whether you're an alcoholic or not, you still don't have to drink, uh, which is true for me. I don't happen to be an alcoholic. I certainly would have made a very fine one. The only difference between me and my friends who are in recovery from alcoholism is they drank a little bit more and a lot longer than I did. Um, so today, I'm 14 years uh, not having had a drink. Uh, I recognize that alcohol was a problem waiting to happen for me. Uh, I also know that I don't do moderation really in any other part of my life, so alcohol was not likely to be an, an area in which I could do moderation. So the personal choice for me was to do, uh, in business they would call it a cost-benefit analysis. I looked at what was good about drinking and what was uh, bad about it, what was unhealthy, what was, what was the impact on my life, my quality of life by virtue of using alcohol. And what I came up to, again, just for me, was that there really wasn't a benefit to outweigh all of the unhealthy and expensive and uh, negative impacts on my life. So my choice is to not drink. And that's still very odd to me. I have to explain to people why I don't drink. And, and that's okay. It's just we live in a culture where drinking is an expectation. So the point that I really want to drive home to folks is, first of all, you don't have to wait for it to be a problem to choose a healthier option. Secondly, you don't have to get hung up on whether or not you're an alcoholic, whether or not you're addicted, to move in a healthier direction. In fact, my experience is that for people who do live with addiction, their disease wants them uh, to question endlessly, to believe that they have control of something, and, and maybe they do, maybe they don't. But my experience is, no matter how well you're managing it, if you continue over time, there's a very high probability that it's going to become a problem. So let's review. Uh, take some surveys online. Look at some objective information about how this is impacting your life. Uh, by all means, talk with your primary care doctor about what the impact, how, how is your health currently, and what is the impact of alcohol on your health. And um, maybe make some plans. Maybe that means harm reduction and reducing your drinking. Maybe that means uh, trying a period of abstinence. Maybe that means looking at where, what kind of investments are you making in your life? Where is your time and money going? Where is your passion in your daily life? Uh, I like to remind folks that alcohol is a depressant. And so yes, it temporarily removes our inhibitions and, and sometimes feels like a lot of fun. But in the long term, if you're like me and you struggle with depression, adding a known depressant uh, to your body really is obviously going to have a negative impact long term on your mental health. So uh, please email me questions about this or other topics, jim at sobernow.com. 
please check out my site for some, uh, maybe some tips on recovery at SoberNow.com. And just take a few minutes today to kind of take a look at yourself. And if any of this makes you uncomfortable, treat that like an opportunity. Maybe just take stock and see if it's time for some changes in your life. Have a great day.